All right, looks like we're back with The Walking Dead. So uh, it's been it's been a couple days since I played this. I mean, I recorded that thing, those like four episodes that I made uh, throughout the, throughout the week. <clears throat> I recorded that last Friday, I believe, or something like that. But now we're back. We're gonna get back into this. And uh, if I remember correctly, which I'm quite sure I remember, but we were outside of the pharmacy or whatever, uh, looking at the hordes of zombies, and we were trying to figure out a way. I don't know, to open the gate or something. Yep, here we go. Alright, so... There's a lot of zombies, obviously. Obviously we can't just open the lock, because that would just be ridiculous. Can we? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Okay, well let's look for the keys then. What is that? Hardware store. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did but it was too risky and then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried and what happened i think they're most of who you see wandering around out there okay so that's a definite no-no electronics warehouse television <laughs> too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere atlanta's in rough shape that's all i know all right so i'm getting some ideas here now, okay, so I was looking at our inventory. So far in our inventory, we only have the picture, it looks like. Can we talk to Doug? What is Doug? Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, brick. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Okay, fine. Uh, talk to Doug. Any idea where the farm keys might be? How'd you end up here? Nothing. What's that? Pharmacy worker. Better come than ask me. Damn. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Uh, let's just. Uh, let's just. Uh... He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. Wow. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, Doug. Shut the fuck up, Doug. You don't even know. <laughs> because we didn't tell him. Get the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. What the hell do you need? He's wearing scrubs. He's wearing like scrubs. What the hell? El what else? What other proof do you need? He's who wears scrubs to go to a freaking electronics store? You know, unless you're like, unless you you're on your break and you're like, I don't know, like, hey, let me look at the 3DSs. You know, let me let me look at the new games. You know, and then you go back to the, I don't know, the hospital to work. But look at him. He's wearing scrubs. Okay, but fine. Let's show him the picture. Lee's brother. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Well, he's wearing scrubs. That's so one. The office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there. Yeah, I agree. I just need a reassurance. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay, well, we can't open the door because one, Re Lee, Re I was about to say Re, <laughs> Lee can't for the life of him squat down a little bit more and try to stick his arm out to reach that brick. Look at him. I can't reach that brick. I can't reach that brick. Shut the hell up. Well, ask Doug. Doug's right there. Doug, don't be a woman. Just grab the freaking brick. I mean, it's not like we could break the lock anyway with the brick by its on its own. Uh, unless we, like, uh... I don't know, I really don't think we could break the lock even with just the brick, but for now it doesn't look like we can do anything. Boarded up windows. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, so we can't do anything here. Uh as far as I know. So we're just gonna have to come back. Maybe we can find something inside. Uh let's just talk to Doug and get get back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Maybe we'll find like a crowbar. Actually you can't break the lock with a crowbar. Silly me. 
Maybe we'll find a grenade launcher, you know? The noob tube. We'll find it. We'll noob tube it from like the inside of the pharmacy. We'll just open the doors. Kill all the zombies. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Uh, let's. Uh, I don't want to talk to her because she's just. She doesn't know the first thing about technology. Uh, food bank. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Okay, so nothing yet. Did we ever find. Let's see what Clem's up to. Let's just. I was gonna say, did we ever find like a way to get into the pharmacy? But I don't think we have. So, oh, talk to Carly. Okay. Thank you, Telltale. Talk to Carly. Where's the? Is this it? Examine newspaper. Talk to Carly. Hey there. You ready to head out? Head out where? You ready to head out? You got it. You? Sure, I guess. Did did I do something last episode that it was like, it was like, oh yeah, hey, let's sit out. I mean, sure. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, yeah, let's go. I don't know where we're going, but let's go, I guess. We're gonna go get some McDonald's. We're gonna bring back Mickey D's for everybody. I'm down. <laughs> no McChickens, though. Please, not the McChickens. Oh, look at this guy. It's a good thing they can't see you if you don't move. They're just like T-Rexes, you know? Did you see that? I sure did. Be ready to shoot. Kill him, Carly. Oh, never mind, it's Glenn. here before any of these things notice us not yet there's a survivor trapped up there no way we gotta go now listen i was out here looking for gas and then up there in the corner room i heard crying coming from inside who is it it's a girl we talked and she got frightened i was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying i was bitten i tried to convince her i wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest a, a couple almost got me I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn. Right. He has a point. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm oh, oh Wait, but if it was her, you. no, Think no, don't it, leave me. You. Oh, there we go. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Let's go, Glenn. I'll back you up. You, my homie. Carly, she's all right. She's just the sharpshooter. Alright, we're getting a good scan of the area here. Some zombo over there. There's one okay. beating right there this in front of us. Plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Okay. Peek over the wall. What's this? Oh, a pillow. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. I'm gonna muffle. I'm gonna muffle the zombie to death. <laughs> gonna muffle his ass with a pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. Yep, she That's has an idea. What I have in mind. Ah, come on. All right, fine. I can see that you're not one for a creative killing. Okay, okay. Go back. Lee, go down. Lee, go down. Jesus Christ. Scared me a little. I, I thought I thought all I had to do was hold forward, and then if I let it go, that he would just automatically head back down. But no, I have to press press down. God damn. Alright, well, what can we look at? There's a zombie eating there. Oh, shit. Okay, that was close. Well. Okay. I mean, there's really not much we can do. Can we go over here? What's over here? Sure, let's run over here. To the truck! We gotta be all sneaky breaky like. Ok, 
Okay, first of all, what's inside of the truck? Let's look inside of it. Yeah, no shit, League. Open. Just look inside of the window. Okay, we could. Yeah, <laughs> let me let me hit the let me hit the window with the pillow. See if it breaks. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm pretty sure we can think of something. Uh, if I, if I, well, okay. First of all, I doubt Lee could like break the, the window just by punching it. Maybe if he elbowed it or something. But I feel like it would make way too much noise just breaking the window like that. So uh, that's not what I want to do. Don't give, don't tell me go forward. And that's not forward. That's like to the right. But whatever. Let's look uh, over here. What, what is there to see? There's a zombie there. We can muffle him with the pillow. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Damn. Pillow assassin. That was sick. That's the name of this episode. Pillow assassin. I don't care what anybody says. Alright, all right, let's um can we open the door? Should be open. What's that? Spark plug. Okay, what else can we do in here? We can move this. Unlock the gear shift. Okay. Push car. Oh hell yeah, we're gonna run this guy over. Everyone watch your jet! Watch your jet! That was awesome! Got him. Look at that 240p zombie face. I assure you, that's not your end, that's mine. Actually. I'm gonna throw the spark plug at the window. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. Okay, Lee, we established that. Cause I only have the option to punch it. I don't think he's gonna be able to break it with his fist. Yep, not even with his elbow. Right. I doubted it. Let's see those ninja rocks. Ninja what now? You picked up that spark plug to shatter that window, right? What the hell are you talking Oh yeah, totally. I Let me see the totally did that for that reason. Inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Ninja rocks. Uh, let's try this then. Oh, that made a little bit of noise. Not enough to get their attention now. Or their full attention anyway. Alright, we should be good. Let's uh, grab this thing. And all, I know what that is. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Back when I was in ninth grade, I, I took woodshop class, and one of the one of the tools that we well we never used it because we never needed to use it, but one of the tools that we had was called an awl, which is what I'm I have in my inventory right now. And uh, me and my friends we used to call it an ice pick because that's essentially what it is. It literally just looks like an ice pick. But my teacher would always get mad at us. He'd be like, no, it's not an ice pick. You shouldn't use it like that because you're going to damage the wood and you could hurt yourself and blah, blah, blah. But we always, we always called it an ice pick because we thought it was funny. 